Creating user rhythms. You can create accompaniment patterns that are played when using the auto accompaniment function of the CTX5000 and save these as user patterns. Accompaniment patterns consist of percussion, drums, bass, and five chord instruments. Before beginning to create a user rhythm, note that the keyboard has an auto power off function and that not performing any operations for 30 minutes will result in the power turning off automatically and any unsaved settings being lost. So, we will disable this function. Press the function button and select Other. Switch off the auto off setting here. Now, let's create a user rhythm. Press the Rhythm button and select a user rhythm. For a user rhythm, for which nothing is saved, no data is displayed for the rhythm name. Press and hold the Function button until the Edit indicator in the LCD area lights up. This changes the keyboard to the Rhythm Editing mode, from which you can edit rhythms. Drum appears as the part to be edited. The V1 indicator starts blinking to indicate that the part of the accompaniment pattern being edited is variation 1. To select another accompaniment pattern to edit, press the other accompaniment pattern and the corresponding indicator will blink. Next. We specify the number of measures and beats for the accompaniment pattern we are creating. Press 8 in the registration area. And when element appears, press enter. When measure appears, determine the number of measures to be created. Press 3 to display beat. And then specify the beats. When setup is complete, press the exit button twice to return. Next, select a part to edit. Press the part button to light up the lamp to the left of the button. Press one of the number buttons 1 through 8 and select a name for the part to edit. Let's first select 2 for the drums. When setup is complete, press the Part button again to turn the lamp off. Next, we'll select the tone to use when recording the part. Press the Tone button and select a tone of your choice. We are currently setting up the drums, so you can select from the drum set tones only. When setup is complete, press the exit button to return. Next, we will perform the initial setup for recording. Press the record stop button. The keyboard enters recording standby and displays empty. When quantize appears, Press and hold the Record Stop button. Press the Function button. This displays the quantize value. Specify a subdivision of your choice when setup is complete. Press the Exit button to return. Press and hold the Record Stop button again, and then use the arrow keys to select Pre-Count. This specifies the number of measures for the count off before recording begins. When setup is complete, press the exit button to return. Press and hold the record stop button again. 
and then use the arrow keys to select metronome. Select on or off here as necessary and then end setup. Now, let's press the start stop button to begin recording. While record is being displayed, you can begin another recording like this. When recording is complete, press the start stop button to end the performance. Press the start stop button again to play back the recorded performance. If you make a mistake, you can delete the record in the editing mode. Return to the rhythm editing mode and then press 2 in the registration area. After clear, element appears. Use the arrow keys to display part and then press the enter button. When sure appears, press the yes button. This clears the selected part. Now let's record the bass part. Press the part button to light up the lamp next to the button. Press 3 to select the bass part. Press the part button to end setup. Next, press the tone button to select the tone. You can also specify an octave shift for the part. While holding down the octave button, press one of the transposition arrow buttons. Next, change the part playback settings as necessary. Press 8 in the registration area. Use the arrow buttons to display part and then press enter. Table is used to specify the chord conversion table. Recording of the accompaniment patterns is normally done in C major. You can play back a recorded auto accompaniment with a chord root or type other than C major, and you can use the chord conversion table to make adjustments according to instruments and musical genres. Breakpoint specifies a key from C to B that is the point at which the bass and chord notes of the auto accompaniment drop by one octave. Invert specifies whether auto accompaniment chords should play in an inverted form. Retrig specifies whether the accompaniment changes notes currently being played to match a new chord whenever the chord changes during auto accompaniment. Bend range specifies the maximum range of the bend effect when using the pitch bend wheel as the number of half steps from the original notes. When setup is complete, press the record stop button in the same way as during the previous recording to return the keyboard to recording standby. Let's press the start stop button to begin recording. When recording is complete, press start stop to stop playback. Repeat these operations to create an accompaniment pattern. Next, we'll use the mixer settings to adjust the overall sound balance. First, press the part button to select a part to edit. Press and hold the part button until the mixer indicator lights up. This takes us to the setup screen. You can enable or disable the select part 
by specifying on or off for part. Use the up and down arrow keys to proceed to the following items. For each part, you can specify the tone. Volume. Reverb send, chorus send, and delay send settings. To end mixer setup, press the exit button. We have now finished creating the user rhythm, so let's save the settings. Press the right button. When sure appears, press the yes button. Saving is complete when complete appears. To leave the rhythm editing mode, press the exit button. After the data is saved, no name appears. To change the name of a user rhythm, press and hold the record stop button until rhythm name appears. Press the enter button to make the name changeable. After you are finished entering the new name, press the enter button. When sure appears, press yes. To end the operation, press the exit button. This concludes the creation of a user rhythm. You can also use the phrase pads to create an original performance recording. You can set a number of measures up to 16 and record up to about 1,000 notes for each phrase pad. First, select the tone to use when recording the phrase. Use the tone button to select the tone of your choice. Note that the layer and split functions are not available here. Next, press the function button to display phrase pad. And then press the enter button. When phrase set appears, select a phrase set number to use for the phrase recording. If a default phrase has already been recorded, you will first need to clear the phrase set. When copy appears, Press and hold the record stop button. Use the arrow buttons to display clear. And then press the enter button. When sure appears, press yes. Press the exit button to end the operation. Now, we'll prepare to record. Press the Record Stop button to enter recording standby. When Length appears, specify the number of measures for the phrase to record. Then, use the arrows to change the quantized settings. After that, specify whether to use the metronome and a pre-count. Next, press one of the phrase pads P1 through P4 to select the phrase number for which to record. To start recording, press the Record Stop button and then begin playing the keyboard. To end the recording, press the Record Stop button. Repeat these steps to record to another phrase number. Thank <laughs> you.